Hello, I'm Kate Faulkner, and I own PilatesOnline.tv. Now, that's the site where I do live Pilates classes on a weekly basis that you can join in with, and you can also do the classes as recordings. Now, this is a recording, and it's to show you uh, what my classes are like and for you to have a, have a little try at them. Now, it's a 45 minutes Pilates class, and it's designed for people that have done Pilates before so that you know the fundamentals and you're competent at doing the exercises. If you experience any form of discomfort or pain, you need to stop what you're doing, reset, have another try, but if the pain persists, I want you just to stop, and then as soon as you can, seek help from a, a health professional. Okay, so we're going to work on some flexibility around the joints, and we're also going to build muscle, uh, muscle strength in the core. Now, that's the stomach, the back, and the bottom, as I'm sure you know. So I really hope you enjoy it. I hope once you've tried it, you're going to come along over to my site, pilatesonline.tv, and have a go and join me again. Great. Let's get going. So make sure you're standing with your feet hip width apart, legs are feet are parallel, and that you um, have got soft ankles, soft knees, soft thighs. Think about sitting in the, uh, your pelvis in the center, so you've neither got it hooked under nor sticking back, and you've drawn up your pelvic floor, you've switched on your transverse abdominals, and you've drawn your shoulder blades down behind you all the way towards your lower back. What that will do is sit your shoulders down a bit and give you space between ear and shoulders. Then think about the crown of your head leaning, leading right up to the ceiling. So you've got some length all the way through the spine, but you're feeling contact with the floor, but you've got lift towards the sky. Okay, take a breath in. As you breathe in, you're going to take your arms up and out to the side. And then you can just breathe out and take them down again. And this time you're going to take them a bit higher, breathing all the way in, but keeping your shoulder blades low the whole time. And then breathing out. Good. And again, breath in. Trying to keep your pelvic floor and transverse on as you're doing these movements and doing your breathing. And then we're going to take one arm all the way up. We're going to take a breath in here. We're going to side bend to the one side. And this, you're going to let your arm relax. You're going to let your hips stay down towards the floor. Breath in. And then come up on the out breath. Lovely. Let's do the other side. So it's arm up on the in breath. Over to the side, trying to imagine you're between two planes of glass and breathe out to come back up. Good. First side again, so breath in. Breathe out as you side bend, maybe a little bit further this time. Keep your chin up, breath in, switch on the core and breathe out to come up. Good. And then arm up, side. Breath in as you switch the core on, make sure it's on and then you're going to come up. Lovely. Okay, we're going to have two arms out in front of you. You're going to bow an arrow to the side. So you're going to bring that one back and take it forwards. So it comes back and then it comes forwards, keeping the shoulder blades low. So it comes back, good, and forwards. This time you can add rotation. So you take it back, you're going to rotate the upper body and bring it through. And again, so to, to rotate the upper body, keep the hips facing forwards. And bring it through. Lovely. And again, bring it back and take it through. Brilliant. One more time. Take it back and bring it through. Lovely. Let's focus down on the feet. So here, you're going to make sure that you have got your feet are parallel and you've got your weight evenly distributed between both. So we're going to try and keep your hips as still.
Start with a roll down. So you're going to stand with your feet hip width apart, nice and tall. Now, as you take a breath in, you draw on the pelvic floor and transverse. And as you breathe out, you put your chin to your chest. And what you're doing is rolling over one verse at a time. Not too slowly, not too quickly, but try to do it smoothly and fluidly. Really draw your belly button through to your spine. Soften your, your knees if you feel, feel too much of a pull in the back of your legs. Let your head and arms just hang. Take a breath in here. And as you come back up, try to get your bottom over your feet and you're going to come up one vertebra at a time, sliding those shoulder blades already down your spine before you come to standing. And then you're what we're going to do up. this time is you're going to go all the way down and we're going to go onto hands and knees. So take a breath in and you're going to roll chin to chest, chin to chest, rolling down and through, down and through. Soften off the knees. Now you're going to put your hands on the floor. You're going to take three big steps. One, two, three. Put your knees down to the floor and then you're going to do a little push-up. So elbows in, little push-up, breath in, bottoms in the air and then you're going to push one, two, three. Bend the knees if you need to and you're going to uncurl. Okay, we're going to do that all over again. So breath in to start. Breath out, we're going to curl down. So you're going to roll, relax the head and arms, suck your tummy bent and back to your spine. Soften off the knees, hands to the floor. One, two, three, fourth to meet, knees on the floor, little push up, good, bum in the air, and you're going to walk back, as you walk back this time, you're going to try to keep your hips as still as possible, good, and then uncurl, great, breath in, good, and roll down, so you're going to roll down, roll down, soften off the knees, hands to the floor, one, keep hips as still as you can, two, three, if you don't need to, you can do a little push up, without putting your knees on the floor. And then push back, two, three, bend the knees, and up you come. Good. I'm going to do one more. Breath in, and curl over, roll down, roll down. Soften off the knees, hands go to the floor. One, two, three, four. Knees down or up if you want. Little push up, and hold it there. Now you're not going to get back up. Okay, so we're going to go to the next exercise. So you're going to have your knees out so they're slightly bent. You're sitting as tall as you can. Draw that pelvic floor up and in. Draw the transverse on. Now have your hands out in front. Lovely. You can take a breath in and you're going to curl the pelvis round. So you're going to round the lower back. You're going to lean slightly back, not too far. You can take as big a breath in here as you can. So the ribs go out to the back. And then as you come forward, you're going to go lean and over, and then you're going to stack that spine back up. Make sure that pelvic floor and transverse is on. Here we go again. Breath in. You're going to round the back as you breathe out. Now, this time, you're going to go just a little bit further if you can, just a little bit further. Breath in here. Good. And then come forward with that round spine. Forward, 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 forward. Lean over. Good. You've got your head down, and then stack that spine back up. Lovely. Let's do it again. Breath in. And down we go. <sighs> Lovely. A little bit further. Good. Really working. Suck that belly button through to the spine. Come up as you breathe out. <sighs> and stack back up. Lovely. Let's do one more. So breath in. And off you go again. So as you breathe out, you're rounding the spine, rounding the spine, going that little bit further, little bit further, little bit further. Good. Quick breath in, a bit shaky maybe there. And then come up and through. Lovely. And stack that spine back up. That's beautiful. Good. Okay. So you're going to roll back down. So you've just put your hands behind your thighs and you're going to curl that same sort of position all the way down and through so that you're in your spine neutral position. So from here, we're going to spine curl. So take a breath in. As you do, you're going to draw that belly button through to the spine, tilt the spelt, pelvis. And as you start to breathe out, you're going to peel that spine up off the floor. So you're up in your spine neutral. Breath in here. And then you're going to come back down. So one vertebra at a time, putting it all the spine back down gently and carefully and precisely where it came off. Lovely. And again, breath in. And here we go. So it's tilt. You breathe out, and then you're coming up, really tightening your bottom underneath you. Breath in there, and then you're going to come back down and through. 
one verse at a time. Lovely. Okay, let's do that once more. Breath in. And then you're tilting. So you're tilting, so you're really drawing that belly button through. You're keeping your thighs really soft. You're peeling off. You get your shoulders away from your ears. Your neck is nice and long. Breath in at the top. And then you're coming down one vertebra at a time. All the way back down. Good. Okay. So just check in your, in your spine neutral. I want you to keep a little small curve in the lower back. And your hips and pubic bone are the same level. You're going to put your hands behind your heads. And then you're going to take a breath in. As you take a breath in, you draw the pelvic floor transverse on. Now, as you breathe out, you're going to slide those ribs down towards your pelvis. You're going to look between your legs. You're going to breathe in as you go back down. Okay? And again, so breathe out as you come up. Keeping that little curve in the lower back. Breathe in as you go down. Your hands are supporting your head, not pulling the head. Just supporting your head as you're coming up and curling back down. Good. Let's do one more of these. Breath out as you come up. Lovely. And breathe in as you come down. Good. So that's just working the top abdominals there and the core. Okay, we're going to work them a little bit harder. So what's going to happen? Maybe you want to watch this one. You're going to take a breath in to prepare. You're going to come up just as we normally did. You're going to keep that little curve as much as you can. You're going to breathe in and then put your hands out to the side. Then, as you breathe out, you're going to just grab the back of your thighs. You're going to pull on your legs a little bit so you can raise that bit harder. It really works this tummy mus the tummy muscles. Okay, as you breathe out. And then you're going to breathe in as you put your hands, retaining that height. Put your hands upon your head and breathe out to go down. Okay, so do it with me. Breath in to prepare. So you're going to breathe out to come up. Breathe in and put your hands out to the sides of your legs. Breathe out as you come a little bit higher. So it's really working your tummy. Now keep that height as you breathe in. Take your hands behind your heads and come back down again. Good. Breath in to prepare. Pelvic floor and transform. Slide the ribs down. Breathe in and reach. Good. Breathe out and lift a little bit higher. Now keep that height now as you put your hands behind your heads and come back down. Good. Breath in to prepare. Pelvic floor and transfers is on. Breathe out and come up. Breathe in and reach.
You're going to take your right knee and you're going to float it, core on, you're going to float it so it's just above your um, hip. Now we're going to start by allowing the leg to drop right down and in. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to let the leg go out to the side and make small circles. Okay, so just start with them small. Now focus on your core and think about keeping your core still as you're making these circles. Now the, it will move a bit, the hips, but you're trying to stabilize it as much as possible. So we're going to do about eight on one side and eight on the other. Now if you want to, you can slide that other leg away and you can have that leg straight and you can make slightly bigger circles with these.